Having just missed out on a place in the playoffs last season, the 2012 champions, Ospreys, travelled to Italy for an opening day fixture with former Zebre scrum half Tito Tibaldi making his competitive debut for the Welsh side. Bennett and Treviso included 14 Italian internationals in their starting 15. Coach Franco Smith looking to build on last season's seventh place finish. A big crowd turned up at Stadio Monigo for this game and early on it was the home side who seized the initiative. In the 11th minute, Osprey centre Andrew Bishop was sent to the sin bin by referee Neil Patterson. And straight away, Alberto Di Bernardo made the Welsh pay with a well-struck penalty for the first points of the match and Treviso's first points of the season. Osprey's response was almost immediate, and in the 14th minute, they were back on level terms. Dan Bigger scored 168 points in the Rabo last season, and he got off the mark here with this penalty for three all. The second yellow card of the match followed in the 23rd minute, when, after some sustained Osprey's pressure, the Italian's hooker, Leonardo Giraldini, found himself in the referee's bad books, and he was off for 10 minutes. With Treviso down to 14, Ospreys took full advantage. The Italians had no answer to the visitors' rolling mall, and hooker Scott Baldwin from Bridge End grounded the ball for the first try of the game and his first Rabo direct try for Ospreys. Bigger converted, and Ospreys were 10 3 ahead. Treviso worked their way back into the game as the half progressed and narrowed the margin approaching half-time with two Di Bernardo penalties, including this one before the break to leave it just a point between the sides, Treviso 9, Ospreys 10. Having scored 114 points for Treviso last season, Di Bernardo proved he was quite a reliable kicker and early in the second half he gave the Italians the lead with another well-struck penalty for 12-10. The two number 10s were proving to be decisive in this clash and it was a case of bigger and better at the other end as the Welsh fly half landed a tremendous drop on 50 minutes to swing the match back in Osprey's favour, 13 points to 12. Steve Tandy's side then scored try number two of the match in the 56th minute and one the Italians won't want to see again. Luke McLean looked to have Tibaldi's kick ahead covered but winger Ben John was more determined and he collected the dropping ball to get over and increase the visitors' lead. Bigger missed the conversion, but Ospreys were 18-12 ahead. And it would get better for the Welshmen. Bigger landed another drop and Ospreys looked to be cruising 21-12. However, the Italians are nothing if not tenacious and substitute Simone Favaro was on the end of a very well-controlled maul to get over the Ospreys' line that handed his side a lifeline with just 15 minutes to go. Di Bernardo converted and it was game on once again. Two points the margin in favour of Ospreys, 19-21. Bigger landed another penalty in the 73rd minute to put Ospreys 24-19 ahead. But there was still plenty of time for a late Treviso assault and they came oh so close to getting what could have been a match-saving try. After a spell of sustained pressure near the Welsh side's line, substitute Christian Loamanu made a dive over, only for the ball to squirm out of his grasp. And with it went the Italians' last big chance to win the match. So Ospreys get their campaign off to a winning start with a hard-fought 24-19 win. Treviso will be hoping that they have better luck when they take on another Welsh side, Scarlets, next time out.